-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be as good as me, so he's not that closest to me who I... I've been debating if he's better than me or not, but he is an emulator player. It's just one guy, he's... He's gotten a lot of good times, I'm like, dude, he might be better than me, but I've been getting world records, left and right idols, and he hasn't challenged me. The only one he's got that I'm not gonna even try until, like, that's the last one I need, is he's got a Phoenix time, which is, like, the third, first track in the third cup, and it's, he's got a really good time, like, that was his track, and I was like, I don't even know if I want to go for that, <laughs> because I do not like the track. Because it's got a bunch of bank slopes, and it is possible in, um, you know, actual hardware. I should clarify this. It is possible with actual hardware. But bank turns, basically, you can get like super speed from it, and like get a really good speed on a turn if you use the bank slopes. I'm just very inconsistent on it, and he he was nailing them. So I was like, it's like, dang, I don't even I don't even know how I can. Do that. At least, at least the one he was using. I. The thing is, is that we're such a small community at Melon. One guy made a rule that it should be 1.6 on um, Project 64, which I was like, okay, but I don't. Really, what you're doing there is you're limiting people from who might be playing the game and not use Project 64. You're telling them you have to do this version. And we already had like four or five runners who actually did an emulator run, maybe on a different emulator. And I, I just, I straight up didn't like the rule. I, because, it's either that, or I didn't like that he just went and just made the rule and didn't talk to any of the emulator guys. I hated that. I can't remember what I hated. I hated something about that. I think it was because, I don't know if he talked to the guys or not. That was just my big thing. It was like, I understand that, you know, you want to make this rule, and I get it, 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 we should do it, but we need to at least talk to the guys and let them know that we're thinking about this rule change, or to see what they're using so we can see if that one's actually better or not. It was, it was just, it was one of those things. I remember I don't like the rule, and the thing is, I don't ask people for emulators. I still verify it, I don't ask for emulators. So when it's an emulator run, I still... I still, you know, allow it because I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to contact them and be like, Hey, what version did you use? Oh, if you didn't use this, sorry, your run doesn't, your run's invalid. Because most of the time, they're not, I haven't, there's only like one, maybe, yeah, one dude since that rule change that beat my times. But I got that time back, so. other like 64 games were saying that this is a good emulator to use and this is like almost perfect so he went off other games and like I said we were such a small community that I'm like I, I get we should make this a rule but like when half of our runners are emulator it makes sense but also it's like we're not you know Super Mario 64 big or Mario Kart 64 big or something along those lines, so why should we, you know, make this a rule? I just, again, the only thing it will, I didn't really understand was because, it's like, well, I understand emulator, but I don't understand why we should make it a rule, because I'm like, well, the thing is, I shouldn't care, because I'm on hardware. I know I'm on hardware. I know where I run, so it should be valid. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's really obvious to see if someone cheated or run anyways. So. Jim 
I think I think I see it as a hateful moment. They, you know, you might be grinding the game for years and years and years. But that lose the time you want, that one time, you're still not getting. You might get so mad that you cheat. Because that feels like the only thing you can do. The other thing is that people might be chasing fame, you know, like, oh man, I got this really good time, oh no, good job, actually, you cheated this. Well, if they don't find out two years later, they already got the, you know, history and all, they're like, well, I got the glory that I wanted at the time, so I don't care, which just might just ruin a reputation for a game, like, take, um, the, like, there was a, what, there was a, either a 70 star or a 16 star, I can't remember, but it was a world record run. And guy got pop was like, man, you know, I still got this amazing time and all that. And people started looking at the run, like, dude, like years later, and like, wait a minute, you cheated this. You can clearly see you spliced it, and you, like, even though we say said it, it was years later. Oh, I don't know what he's. Yeah. Oh, I fucking split late and I split early. Shit. I'm probably a second ahead. I think I'm a second ahead. Uh, yeah. I'm on the last track. And it's gonna go well, I think. Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> I don't know if I did it or not. I got 8.59. It's, it's got some in it. I don't know if I did it because I fucking mi just misclicked lefties. I might split early. Uh, I don't know, but I'm praying. I'm praying. I hope it work. I hope it's still run. I'm hoping because then I could go on to silver, crush silver's world record. I pray to God it is because I don't want to keep crushing this. 
So it's a nine minute. I'm gonna just probably be here all night trying to get this fucking record. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording.